It is going to be powered by World Sports Betting. It is times.co.za. It's the 9th of August in South Africa. It means it's National Women's Day. So happy Women's Day to all the women in South Africa. Uh, and of course, it couldn't have come at a better time because recently, Banyana Banyana were playing at the Women's World Cup for the second time in their history. And it gets people talking and thinking about is this Banyana Banyana squad the greatest ever Banyana Banyana team that we've ever seen in the history of Banyana Banyana? Remember that Banyana Banyana have been playing international football for around 30 years now, since the early 90s and up until this point, 2023. Now, of course, it's a very valid question, given that this is the second time with this current generation that they've played a World Cup. Uh, before, we were always struggling to get to a World Cup. And... <laughs> Last year, they won the African Cup of Nations for the first time as the women's team. And this is the current generation that achieved that. So is this the best Banyana Banyana team that we have ever seen? I think that that's a valid question. Desiree Ellis was their coach, or is currently their coach. Uh, she guided them to their first ever World Cup in 2019, the second ever World Cup this year, and the first ever win that we've ever had in the African Cup of Nations last year as well. Also keeping in mind that in our very first ever World Cup, we only scored one goal through uh, Utembi Khatlana. Utembi Khatlana scored our only goal uh, at the 2019 World Cup in France. And this year, we scored, I think, six goals. And Tembi Khatlana, again, she was involved in all of those goals. Um, and we made progress because we became, or Banyana Banyana became, the first senior South African team to, uh, to go to the last 16 of a World Cup. So they scored six goals. They went to the last 16 of a World Cup. If you ask me, in my opinion, I think that this is the greatest ever team we've ever seen with the Banyana Banyana. Of course, honorable mentions would go to teams like in the year 2000, we saw Banyana Banyana hosting the African Cup of Nations. Uh, they did really well with the likes of Verona Kapewa, uh, Joanne Solomons, uh, Posha Mudise, and the current coach now, Desiree Ellis, who was the captain uh, of the team. But uh, they stopped short of uh, winning the African Cup of Nations because if you remember, in the year 2000, they lost against Nigeria 2-0 in the final, I think it was in Dobsonville, and I think even that game uh, was cut short because people was try started, as soon as Nigeria scored the second goal, people started throwing stones and missiles uh, to indicate their displeasure with the fact that we were losing to Nigeria in the final. I remember distinctly wa watching that game um, with my first ever superheroes, really, in Banyana Banyana, guys like uh, Oposha Modise, my favorite one as well being Joanne Solomons, a forward with tinted hair. She was a colored woman who were playing for Banyana Banyana. Very quick striker, very clever as well. So they lost, um, that generation lost in the final. Now, the two things about those generations in the 2000s, in the 2010s, one of their biggest challenge in that period between 2000 and 2010 was that they could never beat Nigeria. Every single time we were playing Nigeria, since they embarrassed us in the final, in our own final in the year 2000, we would always lose to Nigeria. We play all Africa games, we lose to, to Nigeria. We play the African Cup of Nations, we lose to Nigeria. We play friendly games, we lose to Nigeria. So that was like the biggest hurdle. I think maybe once in the all Africa games, we got like um, two goals against them and then they came back. It was a 2-2 draw that we got and it was a proud moment because it was the one team that we've, we always couldn't beat. But with this current generation, Nigeria was in our group at the African Cup of Nations, we beat them. Uh, in that group. Even before the African Cup of Nations last year, we played in the Aisha Buhari Cup. It was a tournament for the wife of the president in Nigeria, and we beat Nigeria. We outplayed them totally, and we won the Aisha Buhari Cup in Nigeria to indicate that this is a more confident Banyana Banyana team, a much better, maybe technically, in terms of uh, the advancement of the tactics and the way that they play, and the, the fearlessness that they have against a big team like Nigeria. Nigeria is still a big team, but we never struggled. We got out of the group with them. We were number one, and we won the African Cup of Nations for the very first time. So it brings the question, is this the best Banyana Banyana team that we've ever seen? I mean, on evidence of what they've achieved, African Cup of Nations winners, so they are African champions, last 16 uh, of a World Cup. Um, so that's a huge fit for them. That's something that they've never achieved even at Bafana Bafana level. All senior teams have never achieved this until Banyana Banyana have achieved it. I think the under 20 in 2009 uh, coached by Serama Litswako achieved that uh, at the under 20 World Cup. Where I think guys like Kemit Erasmus, um, 
I think Darren Kitt was there as well. Abu Tulane Serrero, if I'm not mistaken, or Tulane Slatchwayo, that group of players, but it was under 19. It was not the senior team. So Banyana Banyana, with this generation, um, with all due respect with, to all generations of Banyana Banyana, I think, in my opinion, are the greatest ever Banyana Banyana team. And also, age is on their side because in the next World Cup, probably half of this team will still be 30, 31, 20, 25 uh, 26, they will still be fit enough to be able to play at the next World Cup, which Bafana Bafana, Banyana Banyana are bidding to host in the in the year 2027 as well. Tell us what you think on the comments section as well. Uh, do you agree that this is the greatest ever Banyana Banyana team that has ever played um, ever? given that they've achieved more things than the previous Banyana Banyana that we have seen. I mean, Veronica Pewa, you could argue that she could slot into this team and she could perhaps dominate in this team because maybe she'll be surrounded by better players. Posha Mudisa has over 100 goals in international football. She's one of the greatest strikers we've ever had, whether male or female, because she has over 100 goals in international football. So if you think about the quality of the players, uh, I think Janine van, van Veik was a great leader. Uh, for Banyana Banyana as well. You could argue that over the years we've had good players, but I don't think that we've had such a great team, a great squad, which enabled them. And even with a good coach as well, uh, in Coach Desiree Ellis and her technical team as well, we've never been able to be on the cusp of achieving great things like the African Cup of Nations. Interestingly, even when we, before we won the African Cup of Nations, I think the, the addition before that, either we, I, we lost in the final or the semi-finals of that, maybe on penalties or it went to extra time, if my memory is served me well, but I think that we pushed it. We got really close to winning it even before we won it um, in the last edition as well. Look at the players as we make this argument that this is the greatest Banyana Banyana team we've ever seen. Um, you look at the back line. Well, there's been a debate maybe in the goalkeeping department about Kaelin Swart and Andrile Zamini. I think we all know that Andrile Zamini is the better goalkeeper because she was the best goalkeeper at the African Cup of Nations when we won it. But the coach, it's her decision. She is paid to make those decisions. She decided that she would uh, go with Kaelin Swart. Um, half decent performance at the World Cup. Of course, she made that blunder. But of course, you have to look at it in the fullness of the performances in all of those games. Did she make blunders in other games? You know, if you want to be objective about it, but I do think, in my opinion, that Andile Lamini is the better goalkeeper. There's a reason why she was the best goalkeeper at the African Cup of Nations. However, I have to say this, that the coach has the right to pick her own team. I know that a lot of people are passionate about this and they want to say Kaylin Swart is the alpha and omega of all the problems at Banyana Banyana, but I don't think that that's a fair comment. But I do think that she's not better than who Andrile Lamini, but that's the coach's decision. So if a coach goes to a World Cup, picks the players and they fail, then she will be fired. That I think that's the deal that we all have with football clubs, that they make their own decision. When things go wrong, they have to take the responsibility. So I think I'm, I'm just looking at the personnel at the back uh, with the goalkeepers, Kaelin Swart, Andile Lamini. I think there's a third choice goalkeeper who's inexperienced at the moment. At the back, they had uh, Lebukhan Ramalepe on the right. Uh, on the left, it was Garabot Lamini. And then centrally, uh, it was Nukumatlo. I think she was playing with Ubamba Nanimbane. And there was also, um, if I'm not mistaken, Melinda Khadieto was playing centrally, but mainly. Primarily, it was Bambana Nimbane, who was an incredible player, incredible central defender. She was playing on Nogomatlo. Ten years ago, Nogomatlo was a striker. She was the best uh, foot female footballer in Africa. But now she's playing as a defender. She's 37 years old, showing maturity. And then in the midfield, I don't think that we've ever had a better midfield pairing than what we had initially. It's just a pity that we had injuries. Uh, Rifilo Jane and uh, Ulinda Mutalo is one of the best midfield combinations that we've ever had. Central, central midfielders, people who can pass the ball, they can mark, they can move around, they have vision, you know, and they can intercept passes. Linda Mutalo, of course, being a little bit more in, attack, in the attack. Um, and I really enjoy that. And I think you can make an argument, have we ever really had that very good, solid combination? They did that in the African Cup of Nations, the two of them, Linda Mutalo, Refilo Jane just behind her, spreading those passes and unlocking our forward, our forward line. And it was beautiful to see. And it kind of worked um, this time around, even in this tournament. It's a pity that we lost to Refilo through injury very early on in this tournament. And in the front line, I don't know if we've ever had a better combination 
than what we've had. This is arguably, if she plays four more years, she will probably be the best Banyana Banyana player we've ever seen if she's not currently one of them. Of course, there's Posha Mudise, Veronica Pewa, and other players who've played before, but given what she's been able to achieve, she's been involved in almost all the goals that we've scored at the World Cup, if not all of them. That's Tembi Khatlana. Some people complain about the fact that she's selfish. I think that she's so fast that her peers are failing to keep up with her and her abilities, and, and that's why sometimes she looks like she's selfish. She gets to the Bucks two seconds before everyone else gets there. That's uh, Utem Mikhatlan, our front line, of course, our leader. And then to the left, Hilda Machaya, and to the right, Jermaine Siopotsinwe. They, they shift and change, but predominantly they have that kind of a for, for, formation. And it's very beautiful to see. Like I, I don't think that we've ever had such a good attacking front line. Hilda Machaya is so good. She's called the breadwinner. She's so good in front of goal. She scores. Like literally, when she has the ball in front of goal, she scored a sweet left foot as well. I really enjoyed it. In fact, she's actually a hero in this team, an unsung hero, because she scored the two goals that uh, we needed to win the final to be African champions last year. Jermaine Siopocinwe, for me, I think subjectively, is probably one of my favorite forwards. Just she looks like a striker if you look at her. The way that she traps the ball, the way that she attacks the space, the way that she really, like, the, the you look at her body, her body language, she just looks like a forward. Like, she's so elegant when you look at her. I don't think that she scored a lot of goals this tournament. And even last time when we were African champions, she wasn't really the main character. Even though she was a number nine, she wasn't really the one banging all the goals. But I think... Her being the her attacking spaces, um, you know, was so important for Banyana Banyana. In fact, when we lost and we were knocked out in the last 16 um, of the World Cup uh, against Netherlands, it was pretty much around the 19th minute that she was injured. And we took six minutes to replace her. And I thought, this is the, this is the moment where we lose this game. Even though I thought that Netherlands were always going to be stronger than us, I thought that the moment where they struggled to replace her, it was six minutes to decide whether or not they wanted to, to replace her. She, they were take, she was taken out and then she came in again. All this time, we were playing with 10, 10 players or 10 men. I mean, that's a football term. We were playing with 10 men. It were one man shot with uh, Ucha Mainzi or Pusin. So I, I think, for me, in my opinion, losing her in that game really affected negatively um, our game. And of course, uh, a few minutes later, we also lost Uban Bananimbane, who is a leader as well. So that's Banyana Banyana for me. I'm making the argument that they are the greatest ever team we've ever seen in terms of Banyana Banyana, this current generation. I'm looking forward to seeing them at the African Cup of Nations as well. How could they do? How will they do? Will they be able to defend their championship? More Morocco is growing. Nigeria will always be Nigeria. Zambia also did uh, decently, but of course they are, they are where they are. They're still growing. They have Barbara Banda, but uh, they don't have really much support around her. Um, you know, so maybe by the time uh, the next edition of the African Cup of Nations comes, uh, they'll be a little bit better. Uh, Equatorial Guinea have ups and downs in women's football. Sometimes they are good, sometimes they're not. There was even a scandal at some point when they, I think either they won or they were on the verge of winning that they were playing male players. So after that scandal, uh, they kind of went into a decline, which means were they really playing male players and they were detected later and that's why maybe they did well. So those are the teams and I think Cameroon as well with the last World Cup, they kind of were there and thereabouts but you don't know what happened to those generation of players uh, were playing for them. But Banyana Banyana for me, I think in this moment, this is our best possible time. Yes, there will always be European teams and the, the Americans and the Canadians who are better than us but in terms of this moment, in this time, this is the best generation of Banyana Banyana. Maybe last one as well. Um, it didn't help that they didn't have a good preparation. Remember that there was a scandal with the bonuses um, that they were fighting with the association and then the Mutsepa Foundation was saying that they will help out with that. The money that, that was validly theirs will be paid to them and we hope that all the ladies will be paid their monies and we hope that ooh, Desiree Ellis is given support as well um, in terms of going forward, uh, being able to pick her own team not being involved in the politics of that team. And I also hope to see Wandi Lamini as well. I mean, she's a very good goalkeeper. I'm looking forward to the growth of Nokoro Tlesane. I think she's 22. So in the next World Cup, she'll be peaking. Also, Wendy Shongwe, I'm looking forward to seeing a develop who saw in the last game. I saw glimpses of a good player, but of course, you could see that she's still very young. I think she's 20 as well. This is Oma Kubela. Uh, those are young kids that probably in the next World Cup, they'll be very good. Or maybe in the next African Cup of Nations, they'll be good players for Banyana Banyana as well. Do you agree with the fact that this is the greatest Banyana Banyana team we've ever seen? Let us know in the comment section.